like that. That's what I like. Making our own little cocktail. Frosty. And that's how I do my little bun. I call this my little summer bag. Hey girl, okay, I don't have a direction of where I want this video to go. I just know I wanted to sit here and get cute. <laughs> I just wanna put some makeup on, dip and dab into a few new products. And yeah, and I also wanna just kind of um, freshen up my hair cause it is getting pretty dry and a little, you know, so we're just getting ready. I'm gonna show y'all the spray I've been using on my hair this is before i even got it braided this is the ceremonia oil mist and i'm like halfway done with this stuff but i just got another oil spray that i've used a couple of times on my hair the pattern beauty shine spray so i think i'm gonna use this today but the ceremonia this smells really good i feel like this could be a perfume do they have a perfume i don't know but i feel like like the way this smells i would literally want to wear this as a perfume um but yeah i'm gonna use this shine spray this just makes my hair look more you know healthy looking shiny it doesn't look as dull um actually no let me not put that on yet because i want to try out this edge control from pattern so i already uploaded like a little pattern beauty um sephora haul it's like a little mini hair products Sephora haul on my YouTube shorts and I just shared a few pattern beauty products that I picked up. Um, I had a couple of recommendations that I wanted to try and then I also grabbed a few things that I thought would be, you know, kind of interesting to try out. So I'm just gonna try a little bit of this. Um, people are saying that this is pretty good. And I ran out of my gummy professional edge. I think that's what you call it. Ooh, this smells good. I ran out of the, the gummy edge control that I got from Amazon. So I figured I'd try something else out. Okay, it's kind of hard to get out with my finger without trying to mess it up with my nails. But yeah, girl, we are just hanging out today while we get ready. I don't want to put too much on my edges because I feel like they're not too frizzy just yet. Just enough so they can look, you know, look more polished. And I'm just gonna do this. I really just needed it right here on the temples. And I'm gonna use my little edge brush to just press it into, well, tuck it under the braid like that. Cause that's exactly what they did in the hair salon. I was like, oh, okay. So whenever my hair starts to get loose, I can just take my rat tail comb and tuck it under like that. And put a little bit on the edges and just kind of brush out just a little bit of baby hair, not much, cause I don't like a lot of baby hair. Like I don't like that exaggerated baby hair look. Just, you know, I like it to look as natural as possible, you know? Because I just feel like if it's going to be baby hair, it needs to be baby hair. You know, it doesn't need to be long hair on your forehead. It just needs to be really short, soft baby. Like, see that? Like that. That's what I like. Me personally, that's how I like for the baby hair to look. And I did the sides too. Okay, so so far the edge control is, is she's cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's cute. I love this little brush. This is also from Pattern Beauty. I just went on a Pattern Beauty kick for some reason. <laughs> she's cute. I'm gonna show y'all what I've been doing with the actual pigtails because the back of my hair has gotten so loose, like a lot of it has come out and the very, very, you can't see it. Even if I turn to the side, you can't see it. But like the middle of it 
is um, coming out. So I've been um, wearing like little um, buns. So I'll show you what I do, how I do that as well. And then we'll get to the makeup. <laughs> That's all I'm doing with the edge control. Just a little bit, you know, didn't want to dig my finger in it too much because I don't need much, but edges look a little bit better. Now we need to put some of this um, shine spray on just to, you know, so the hair won't look dry. I've just been spraying it just like this. And this smells pretty good too. I'm gonna do the pigtails, well, the little space buns after we do our makeup. But for now, I'm just gonna lay down my edges with this wrap. I get these off of Amazon. Just gonna lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. So a few new products that I wanna try out. I have a new eyeshadow palette. We're gonna dip into some color today. It's the new Anastasia palette right here and this is how she looks i'm thinking a sparkly blue eye today i'm thinking i don't know we will see oh ah, my finger just dug into galaxy but we'll see what um we come up with dang it i mean it just dug in it um, and I want to try out this new e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I got the shade Deep Rich. Um, oh, the other color in the Dior blush that I've been wanting, this is in the shade Berry. So when they came out with the new shades, that was the only shade that I like really, really, really wanted. And I finally had it um, in, no, I got it online. Yeah, and then I want to try out this uh, Makeup by Mario. Okay, so I swatched this. And I wasn't too sure about it. This is in the shade Perfect Pink. We'll see how it looks on the face. Um, oh, Hard Candy has these new lip oils. And they look just like the, uh, well, the packaging looks like Rare Beauty. So I got a couple of them. I got the Peach Dream. And also, I didn't open this one up. I've been wearing this one, by the way. Um, and I got Crystal Charity, which is just the clear. But it's just your typical, you know, lip oil, very glossy, and it smells good. It smells like peach rings. You remember those peach rings? Well, they still have them, but I used to get them all the time when I was younger at the gas station. It literally smells like peach rings. It doesn't have a sweet taste, though, but it just has that candy, peachy scent. And I like it. Yeah. Hard Candy Glossopia Lip Repair Oil. Now, as far as my skin, I already prepped that this morning, but I don't have on my um, sunscreen. And I haven't really been wearing primer, but we're just gonna go ahead and put on the Skin Proud uh, sunscreen. I wanna mix some things today, you guys. I wanna mix a foundation with um, a skin glow product that I haven't, well, I've used it, but I haven't mixed it in with the foundation that I've been using, which is the Laura Mercier Perfect Skin Foundation. Oh, this is my first time using it on my channel. I've tried it out on my, um, well, I've used it on my social media platforms, but I haven't used it with you guys. And I know some of you don't follow me on like Instagram and TikTok. So we are gonna use that today. Look how just easily this sunscreen blends, just melts into the skin, y'all. Literally no white cast at all. Love. Okay. But yeah, I haven't really been wearing um, primer and I've had no issues with my makeup. I literally have no issues with um, my makeup like separating. I think it's because of the products, like the makeup, actual products I use. Like I've been using my Sun Glow without primer. I've been using the Too Faced Healthy Glow. I've used this a couple times without primer. And um, I've also haven't been wearing foundation or um, skin tints. I've just been wearing concealer. 
and the concealer I've been wearing is this one from Sephora, which I think is discontinued, but you can literally wear, any. this is just what I've been using to spot conceal if I'm not wearing, you know, foundation. But yeah, so anyway, let's do the brows. Let's do the brows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to do my brows. I'm running out of this brow pencil and I'm also running out of my Anastasia uh, brow pencil. I kind of want to try a new one. So if y'all have any um, recommendations like brow pencil recommendations, let me know. Let me know because I want to try out some different products. And I like trying out the products you guys love. So um, give me some recommendations, y'all. And plus, I kind of want to go shop, like makeup shopping. And I kind of want to take you guys with me. So if there, are, just give me a list. Give me a list of your favorite products. And I'll go through all of y'all's lists and just pick out some products that I haven't tried. And yeah, I think that'll be fun. I think that will be really fun. So leave a list down below in the comments of just your favorite products, your current favorite makeup products. And we'll go shop for your favorites. That'll be so fun. It can be drugstore, it can be high end, just a good mix. So leave it down there and yeah. Ah, that'll be fun, y'all. I don't think I've ever done like a makeup shop with me of your favorites. How would I even, what would I call that? Shop with me for your favorites. Shop with me, come makeup shopping with me, getting your favorites my subscribers favorites I don't know I don't know but that'll be something fun to do so yeah leave me all of your favorites like all of your full face favorites beginning to end even brushes we gonna have a time we gonna have a time okay let me brush out this brow pencil oh my gosh when is the last time I sat down with y'all and did my makeup It's been a minute, right? I think it's been a minute. I think the last time I really just sat here and just did a full face without inserting it into a vlog was when I did my um, everyday makeup routine using new products. Yes, that's when it was. Why did I just say yes like that? Yes. Um, yeah, I think that was the last time I sat here and like really just did my makeup with y'all. Um, I'm going to use my Holy Grail product, um, the Rim Beauty Concealer. I am digging in this stuff. Okay, so the other day I went to Sephora. Um, I was with Shanine, and she was telling me about, um, I don't think she tried it though. I think, yeah, we were talking about it. The new NARS, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it literally looks just like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And... I want to ask you guys, have y'all tried it? It's not the soft matte concealer. It looks just like it. It's like an eye brightener. It's a new product from NARS. But I do want to know, have any of you tried that product? Because when I was looking at it, it looked like it literally looks like the concealer. And I already have the concealer. And I'm like, do I really need this? But if y'all have tried out that product, I think it's the I, the NARS, um... Girl, y'all, I know y'all know what I'm talking about, but it's a new product and it looks exactly like the um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer. But if you tried it, if it's something you think I would need, <laughs> let me know. And also let me know what color it is if you do have it, if you are my foundation twin. Um, so yeah, we were like... We were trying to decide if we were going to get it. I think she was, you know, trying to get me to get it so I could try it before she tried it. But I didn't get it. So let me know if y'all have it and if it's something that I absolutely need, especially if I already have the NARS Soft Matte Concealer because, yeah, I haven't really been using that. I've just been using this Rim Beauty Concealer because I like using this under my brows. And this is a really thick one, too. If you want to use this under your eyes, you don't need a lot because it's pretty thick. 
and a little bit goes a long, long, long way. Like a long way, girl. Mm-hmm. All right. I think that's good enough. I just um, trimmed my brows, well, arched my brows a few days ago, so... I feel like they still look pretty good. So I, um, I'm not going to spot conceal today. Instead, I'm just going to go straight into the Laura Mercier foundation. Cause I feel like my, I mean, my, my dark spots have definitely lightened up tremendously. So we're just going to go straight into the Laura Mercier real flawless foundation i use the shade 5w1 but i want to mix it in i want to try it out with my say um glow it's the glowy super gel and the shade sun glow my bad y'all i had to clear out the card but i think i stopped off at the laura mercier i said i was going to mix these two together and um this is the say sun glow glowy super gel in the shade sun glow so i like to mix this in with foundations skin tints just to kind of give me that extra glow and i haven't tried it out with my laura mercier foundation um so we're gonna put a little bit of this on and y'all look what i'm about to use with it so random <laughs> i'm gonna use this um refi brush with it because i like using this foundation with the laura mercier brush that it doesn't come with it but it's like a triangle brush and it's very 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 dirty i don't want to put that on my face so i just grabbed a random clean brush to use it with it's i don't know i don't know what it is but this with that brush and y'all know i don't like using brushes with my foundations i always like to use a sponge but using this with that brush i don't know girl it's just something about it. I put a couple squirts and then I'm going to use the Say Sun Glow. Just put one squirt of this because you literally don't need much of this. Ooh, I probably should have just went ahead and mixed. Yeah, let me use this right here. This is like a little um, palette that you can put all your products on and just kind of mix them together and then go to town. Mm. Oops, I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on here. And a little bit more of this. Making our own little cocktail. And then we're just gonna put it on. Yeah, that other brush is way better than this. The Laura Mercier real flawless foundation brush it's their new one the shape just makes it so easy to apply foundation on the center of your face because it's like a triangle but yeah it's really dirty um it's up there somewhere on my shelf <laughs> but it's so dirty y'all but here's the finish really pretty um let me do a little up here but I mean, it did blend the product in pretty good into the skin. Really pretty. See how that say just kind of gives me that extra glow. You definitely don't have to mix, you know, that in with your foundation, but I like glowy skin. I love glowy skin. I'm going to take my sponge that um, I already wet so it's pretty damp but I squeeze most of the water out with the um napkin um just taking that to just blend out that concealer under my brow and then also just kind of try to blend everything in together with the sponge so it all can melt in seamlessly just like that I'm gonna put some of my um, let's use minted today. The minted concealer in the shade CEO. I was going to grab elf concealer. Y'all know that's my favorite one ever, but we're just going to use minted. This is, um, kind of similar in a way to the one from elf. 
I'm just putting it under my eyes and just a little bit right here on the chin. Lately, I haven't really been putting it on the center of my nose or my forehead. No reason. I just haven't really been doing it. I've just been like skipping steps. I'm gonna use my Huda powder today. The Huda Cherry Blossom. Danessa Myricks has a pink setting powder that I want and it's sold out. Well, I don't know if it's still sold out, but when I was trying to get it, it sold out and my store doesn't have it. I was going back and forth with Danessa Myricks or the one from Patrick Star, because Pat uh, Patrick Star has a pink setting powder too. But I really want the one from Danessa Myricks. I just gotta wait until it gets back in stock. It's probably back in stock now. I haven't been on Sephora to check, but yeah. I'm just gonna set that concealer with the Huda Cherry Blossom Setting Powder. This just looks so freaking good, y'all. And it doesn't look pink. I think if you use a lot of the product, maybe it'll, you know, kind of have that pink tint, but it doesn't look pink. It just looks like a translucent powder. It's nice and brightening. I'm gonna put some on the lids too. Forgot to blend this out on the chin. I will say if I use the e.l.f. concealer and let it sit like that without blending it out, mm -hmm. it would have left like a little um, dry spot because it does dry down. You have to try to blend it out pretty quickly, but the minted concealer doesn't do that, as you can see. Okay, let's try this out the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. I probably could have went with the other shade too, but I wanted to play it safe and get the darker one because I feel like the other one probably would have looked like my foundation shade, but at the same time, I should have got it so I can swatch it with y'all. I don't know. Anyway, let's try this out and see what it looks like. I'm gonna squirt it on my hand first. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I probably should have got the other one. <laughs> oh, we girl. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. I probably should have got the other one. Dang. Oh, man. Let's stick with the Refi, Ref, Ref, Riffy, Riffy, Refi brush. Mm. Yeah, that is too dark, y'all. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just put like a couple dots and then blend it out and you'll be fine. <laughs> Ooh, did y'all hear that? My stomach is growling, girl. Yeah, there we go. It's not that bad. Definitely good for contouring. I'm not putting this on my forehead. I just wanted to put it on the side of my face because um, it is a contour, it's not a bronzer. And y'all know I like a warm forehead and this is definitely not giving warm. Um, but yeah, I just want to try that out with you guys. If y'all were trying to figure out what shade to get, um, I really feel like I, I could use the other shade too. I really think I could. But yeah, she's cute, she's cute, and the color is good, you know, definitely works on my complexion. Um, so that's that. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put on the Kosas powder to set my face, because I have on that Laura Mercier um, foundation. We're just gonna set my face with this. so it won't move and this is pretty sheer but it's also buildable too so if you 
you know, need a little bit more, just build it up. And y'all know I don't like to put a lot of product on, so I just put just enough for it to just, you know, set my foundation. Just like that. Okay. Oh, this is in the shade Silky. Now we are going to use a bronzer. And the one I wanna to use today is the NARS bronzer. Well, it's a new shade, Laguna number no. six. And this is a little small one. I'm gonna use this. I was gonna use my MAC bronzer, but I've been using a mess out of that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna let MAC chill for a minute. And we're just gonna use this today. to bronze up the sides of my face and then also my um, forehead. Y'all wanna know what I hate? I hate getting makeup in my hairline, but sometimes I have to because when I take my little um, wrap off, it's like a line and I have to kind of fill it in with bronzer. But I hate doing that because when it's time to wash my face, I have to get water all in my hairline and that's when the hair freaking frizzes up. Oh, let me put some of this on my nose and then we're gonna try out the Anastasia palette and see what it is hitting on. I could have used that e.l.f. product for this part, but here we are, we're doing this. We already started, so yeah. Now, let's try this eyeshadow palette. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think I wanna do blue today. So let's do blue. And the first thing I wanna do is go in with a neutral color for the crease. So we are going to, I like this color, Mars. I like that. But I also kind of want to mix and match. So let's go in with Mars and Comet. These two shades, just tap them together. And this will be the first shade that we use on the eyes. I don't have my little mirror with me today. I usually have it like right here at the bottom of the camera <laughs> where y'all can like really see me do my eyeshadow so I'm having to look into the vanity mirror and also my taller mirror that's on the side so yeah I mean I could look use this I gotta take the sticker off there we go But yeah, I wanted to put that lighter shade in with that color because I feel like it would have been too dark. So just mixing them both together made a good shade, a good starter shade, a little transition shade. good to me and the blue that I want to use today I kind of want to go with super cluster instead of well I don't know y'all do we want to do like a really dark smoky purple blue look or do we want something bright Hmm. Let's do bright. Let's do bright. Let's do the space dust first. I'm putting this on the entire lid. <laughs> and then I'm going to top it off with, oh, this would have been pretty like right here on the inner corner too to brighten up the inner corner. This is a pretty soft color, <laughs> but I'm gonna go on top of it with 
something else. Uh, I love how Anastasia eyeshadows blend. Like, I feel like you can't do no wrong with Anastasia eyeshadows because they just blend so well together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that. Nice and blended. So the shade I wanna do next is, um, let me blend this together. Um, super Cluster. This light blue right there is like an icy blue. Then we'll take a different brush, a clean brush, and go into Super Cluster. And I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna spray my brush um, a little bit. What do I wanna spray it with? I literally don't have like makeup setting spray at my vanity, because I always use my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. So let's just use this. Yeah, it don't matter. I want to put this just on the center. I'm just going to press it on the center of my lid. Like that. Ooh, for Rousty. Ooh, real frosty. Ooh, do I like that? <laughs> Hold on. Let me do the other side. Uh, okay. What do we think, y'all? Is this too much? Is it doing too much? I don't know, girl. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna keep playing around with it. We're, we're gonna go back into Space Dust, that lighter shade, to place on the inner corner. And just lightly go in with it, just to kind of Ooh, cover up some of that blue. Mm, mm, mm. We messing it up, girl. We messing it up. Go back and forth like that. Mm. <sighs> what am I doing? I don't know. Mm. I really don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I don't think I like it, but we gonna continue. We gonna continue. This is uh, Space Dust. Let's go with Dark Matter with a really tiny brush to kind of like, I don't know, cut the crease and give it more definition than the crease on the outer corner.
something like that. Girl, let's put the lashes on because I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. But let me put the lashes on because I know that's going to look make it look better. And then I'll be back. All right, y'all. Before I even put the lashes on, let me go over what I just did. I put some of this Too Faced um, gel liner on my bottom waterline. And then I put the Dark Matter eyeshadow down there too just to smudge it into the liner. So now that's why my... Um, why it looks smoky and then the lashes that I'm using I'm using the Ardell 778 so those are still drying I just put the glue on it I put the house of lash glue on there this is the dark one so while that kind of gets sticky tacky let's do some blush let's do the Dior rosy glow blush in the shade berry this one is kind of purple and it just looks so pretty. So this is the front of the packaging and you open it and there, look how pretty this color is y'all. I am obsessed. I'm gonna use this brush. I've been using these Sigma brushes cause they're clean. Um, I'm just gonna put it on the brush. Look how pretty this color is y'all. I don't know if it's gonna go with the eyes but I don't care. It's so, oh. Mm. Oh, this has like, does that have shimmer in it? Or maybe it's, oh, it's just a little shimmer that fell off from the eyeshadow. Yeah, I like this color way more than the other one that I got. I got mahogany first. Um, it's like the brown one. But when you put it on, it doesn't look brown. It just looks like kind of berry purple. But this color is so pretty, y'all. Oh my gosh, I don't even think y'all are seeing it, it looks so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm so happy I got this one. Um, we were supposed to use the Makeup by Mario blush today. <laughs> Why did I not use it? We're gonna have to use it in another video, but let me show you the color if you didn't see it when I did my little mini Sephora haul in one of my vlogs. But this is perfect pink. And I don't know, y'all, it just doesn't look we're gonna have to see what it looks like on the face, but when I swatched it, it just looked too sheer and too light. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and let these lashes finish drying and then I'm gonna pop them on, put a new battery in my camera cause this one is dying and yeah, I'll be back. Okay, yes, a thousand times yes. The lashes made it look better. <laughs> lashes always make it look better, especially when I wear eyeshadow eyeshadow you know like like color eyeshadow lashes just make it look better so the mascara I've been using is this one from Merit I'm gonna put this on the bottom and top lashes and if you know me you know I like to put on my mascara after putting on the fake lash instead of putting it on first because my lashes be getting in the way when I put the mascara on first and then try to put the false lash on afterwards. I'm gonna clean the side of my face up with the Sephora translucent powder. Um, this just going, it's just gonna go up under the bronzer that I use, so right here. And it also makes it pop, makes your bronzer or contour pop more when you do this. I'm gonna have to close the blinds because a lot of light is coming in on this side of my face. Okay, that's so much better. Yeah, it was too much light hitting this side of my face. Let's do a little bit more of the Huda setting powder and use it as like a finishing powder under my eyes and on the side of the nose. Let's just... There we go.
It looks good. It looks so good, y'all. It looks good. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'm liking this now. It's crazy what lashes will do. Like, it is so crazy, but I am liking the overall look, y'all. I'm liking it. Ooh, what lip do we want to do today? I kind of want to just keep it plain because we already have a lot going on with the eyes. And yeah, I just like the bare lip look. But just to kind of make it pop a little bit, just a little bit, we're going to take the Buxom Power Line Lip Liner in the shade Creamy Chocolate and put a little bit on the outer corners. Like that. See how that just kind of gives me more definition in the lips. And then I am just gonna top it off with I know I got some new lip products. I know I do. <clears throat> Ami Cole Lip Oil in the shade 517. This is the new shade. It's like a gold. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is gorgeous, y'all. If you don't have this color, get it. Get it. If it's still available, get it. The prettiest gold glow for the summer. Mm. The last thing we need to do is spray the face and then we will be done. Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. And I'm gonna take my sponge and press that in. I take the bottom of the sponge because I didn't use that part of it. I'm just gonna press it in. Look how it just brings the skin to life, y'all. It just brings the skin to life. Yeah, if you don't have that lip color from Ami Cole, get it. Now I'm just gonna take this off and then I'm gonna put my hair in two little bitty buns. Let's see how the edges look. See, it looks good. Okay, see what I'm talking about? Like I have to put some bronzer right there cause it's like a big old line of craziness. <laughs> But I love my hair like this, y'all. It's such a cute style for the summer. And I think I'm just, this is just gonna be my go-to style if I want braids. Okay, all right, that's good enough. So now I'm gonna do this with my space buns. So I kind of grab the loose hair in the back. And I kind of do it as if I'm about to put it in a ponytail like with a rubber band, but I don't. I just make sure I grab it really tight and then I start wrapping the braid. I just start wrapping it. And I do this without having to put a rubber band on. Cause as I wrap, I tuck. I tuck the little tail of the braid under the bun as I wrap it. And when you do it like this, you don't need to put a rubber band on or hair tie. I always call hair ties rubber bands. I don't know. I just say rubber band instead of hair tie. And that's how I do my little bun. I'm do the other side. And the last thing I will do is put something on like a cute little outfit, perfume. Ooh, let's go do that. All right, so I went ahead and changed into this. Hold on, let me tilt you guys down some. This is just a simple summer outfit that I picked up from Target. You get the shorts and the, the shirt separate. Just something quick and cute and, you know, cool because, you know, it's hot outside. And then the bag, I call this my little summer bag. I got this from Shop Project 
2000 on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below, but it's just a clear bag with my essentials in it. And then the shoes are the Steve Madden sandals. So let me go ahead and put this on. So yeah, this is my little summer OOTD. Hope y'all enjoyed this get ready with me video. Um, and I hope y'all like my makeup because I like it more now that the hair is back in buns and everything is done. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys in my next one.